Did you know one of the best figure skaters in the world calls the Elm City home? This is so cool. Olympic gold and bronze medalist Nathan Chen studies and trains at Yale University. And he spent a recent Saturday at RJ Julia Bookstore in Madison to promote his new children's book. And that's where Channel 3's Stephanie Simone caught up to him. And this is a story you're not going to see anywhere else. Let's take a look. I'm excited. In cozy, quiet Madison, excitement builds outside of RJ Julia's bookstore. Just look at that line. He's so inspiring. She's talking about the Quad King. He earned that nickname when he became the first skater to land five quadruple jumps in one program. Some consider him to be the best male figure skater in the world. But if you ask him his title? Just Nathan is great. Okay. <laughs> the humble yet extremely talented and hardworking Nathan Chen took gold in the last Olympics, won three world champions, and now... Oh, that's exciting. He can add author to his resume, but like a true overachiever, he didn't stop at one book. First, the memoir, One Jump at a Time. A really great reflection on my time in skating as well as, you know, through the two Olympics and the two uh, different experiences that I had at the Olympics. Then, a children's book. Way loved figure skating. Way skates on. What would young Nathan have wanted to see when he was a kid and what would have been hopefully inspiring for a little version of myself? There's always going to be ups and downs, but uh, learning how to sort of push through the hardships and uh, be able to fall back on your team of people that love and support you um, is really important. Okay. <laughs> when he's not taking pictures with fans at book signings or training, he's working on his degree at Yale. He's set to graduate next year. I'm really excited to finish off this year and, and head into my senior year. Uh, but my time here has been awesome and really enjoyed being here in Connecticut. So after two Olympics, will he go for a lucky number three in 2026? Well, let's just say he's not ruling it out. Right now I still have a year and a half of school, so that's my focus. And then once I get past that, you know, there'll still be two years before Milan. So um, then I'll, you know, take some time and think about where I'm at and uh, what my future goals are. All right. Good skater, that's for sure. Since he's lived in New Haven for a few years now, Stephanie also asked him about his favorite local pizza shop. Yeah, and he went with Bar, which oh. is very close to his residence hall. Mm. So, I don't know, New Haven, there's so many good pizza so places there. So many good there. pizzas, as we're Hard finding out from our pizza challenge. Exactly, yeah. We are trying to find the best pizza in all of Connecticut, not just New Haven, with our pizza playoffs. And as you can see, there's just one spot left to advance to our great eight. So, can 16 seed Mulberry Pizza from Manchester pull off the biggest upset and knock out number one Tony's Pizza from Willimantic? Well, that's all up to you. Voting for the final top 16 matchup is open right now at WFSB.com or on our Channel 3 app. And you have until tonight to weigh in. I have until tomorrow to weigh in before my cruise. <laughs> We're going to announce the winner tomorrow morning, so stay with us. And there's also a great show coming up today at 3 on Great Day. Connecticut Kara is in-house with a preview. Hey, Hi, Kara. guys. Good morning. Hey, Kara. Your hey. earrings match me. Oh, yes. We're, co we're coordinating. Yeah. Yeah. Is it pink or coral? Um, these are pink, I think. Okay. Yeah. Match pink, I think. Pink, I think. Pink, I think. So, guess what? what? It's recipe what? of the weekday. Oh, we're making. I heard we're making a shake. Shamrock shake. Oh, this sounds who needs delicious. Who Really? Exactly. Yeah. Who oh needs my gosh. If we can replicate this. This is going to be unbelievable. They say it's easy. Less than five minutes. You could even make it at home. So you'll want to watch. You'll want to look on Instagram and Facebook. We share those recipes later. Um, so anyway, I know McDonald's has it going, but we're going to make uh, our own version. Our own version is that. All right. We're also celebrating female composers. Talking with the ladies behind an amazing event that you can attend this weekend. Mm. And how about sitting all day? Is it causing you pain? Well, we have the ultimate desker size. Yep. No Excuses. You can do it at your chair. It can get a quick workout, and it can help relieve pain. All right. I think the three of us should do this in the newsroom. Yeah. Why not? So people well, can just ask. not. Can you can't do it on the wheelie chairs, yeah, but we no, could do no, it here no, on the that couch. That would not be good. Remember the Four Seasons song? Cherry. It was about a workout with a chair. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cherry baby. <laughs> Sorry. We'll see you back here for Eyewitness News about that. <laughs> at noon as well. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to send this guy off on a cruise. See you Tuesday, March 28th. <laughs> I appreciate you watching. I'll be on vacation. You don't have to write in and ask if I got, if I got fired. You don't have to write <laughs> He's in. not getting fired. I'm not getting fired. Although you do need to put sunscreen on. I do need to put sunscreen on. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. <laughs>